गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द रिविजन ऑफ चैप्टर फॉरन एक्सचेंज मार्केट ओके सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन देन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फॉरन एक्सचेंज देन वाई फॉरन एक्सचेंज इज डिमांडेड मीन्स फॉरन करेंसी इज डिमांडेड देन वट आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ सप्लाई ऑफ फॉरन एक्सचेंज देन डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ फॉरन एक्सचेंज रेट और वी कैन से रेट ऑफ एक्सचेंज ओके so uh, this chapter defined the meaning of foreign exchange and related terms how foreign exchange rate is determined study of foreign exchange rate fixed and flexible exchange rate means fixed in which exchange rate does not change and in flexible exchange rate change and the differences thereafter hybrid system of exchange rate and operation of foreign exchange market means how foreign exchange market operate how it work okay so what is foreign exchange as it is refers to all the currencies of the rest of the world other than the domestic currency of the country for example in india us dollar is the foreign exchange means it is the rate of exchange at which domestic currency is exchanged with the foreign currency for example at present time indian rupees is equal to uh, 1 us dollar is equal to indian rupees 73 okay it means the rate of exchange for us is 73 if we want to purchase 1 us dollar then we have to pay 73 rupees okay so this is the rate of exchange so the rate at which one currency is exchanged for another is called foreign exchange rate in other words the foreign exchange rate is the price of one currency stated in term of another currency the same is the example that i have stated that uh, one us dollar is equal to 73 rupees then it means the rate of exchange for us is 73 that we are paying 73 rupees to purchase one us dollar okay now what is the foreign exchange market okay means we want to exchange our domestic currency with the foreign currency so where we will exchange this is the question so these exchange take place in foreign exchange market so what is foreign exchange market foreign exchange market is the market where the national currencies are converted exchange or traded for one other okay means where national currencies means different countries of the world exchange their currency or convert their currency okay foreign exchange market as we have uh, discussed that this is the market where the national currencies are exchanged or traded so what are the function of foreign exchange market first transfer function transfer function refers to transferring of purchasing power among countries means if we want to purchase dollar then it will take place in foreign exchange market so it play the function of transfer means it it transfer the foreign currency okay credit function it implies provision of credit in term of foreign exchange for the export and import of goods and services if a country export or import of goods then it provide the credit also then hazing function this is nothing it is a tool which is used in foreign exchange market to avoid the risk okay so it is the activity which is designed to minimize the risk of loss risk of loss means that there, there, there should be no fluctuation fluctuation it no less fluctuation okay and to avoid the fluctuation in the international money market hazing tool is used now we will discuss the source of demand of foreign exchange source means what are the source that why it is demanded okay means why we demand foreign exchange so um, foreign exchange market if we import of goods and services so means exa for example we have purchase our country india purchase goods 
and services importing goods and services then we have to pay in that country currency only for that we need foreign exchange means foreign currency we need so we have to exchange our own currency in term of that country currency so it will take place in foreign exchange market and for that we will demand the foreign exchange second is tourism for tourism purposes also it is demanded if people used to go to uh, for tourist uh, purpose in foreign countries then they will exchange our own currency in foreign currency okay third is unilateral transfer it means one sided payment okay uh, if we are giving gift to another country and donation grant then we uh, it is given in uh, that particular country currency only for that we uh, need Con, um, the transfer of currency means we will convert the currency it means we will need we will demand the foreign exchange okay for this purposes also it is needed and then purchase of assets in foreign countries purchase of assets means if a government purchasing bonds indian government purchasing bonds shares in uk and usa then that will purchase in that country currency only so we need our government will demand for foreign exchange okay we will convert our currency in foreign currency then repayment of loan if we uh, borrow loan we have taken loan then if we are paying rate of interest or either money that will be given in that foreign currency only so we need foreign exchange then speculation purpose speculation means uh, it is a system in which uh, people now uh, whenever there is less price of foreign exchange then people purchase and they store foreign currency and when price rise then they sell in international money market that foreign currency to gain the profit okay so for speculation purpose also people used to purchase if when there is a decline in rate of exchange then people used to purchase foreign currency for example dollar and if there is increase in the price of dollar then people will uh, sell this dollar in the international money market and they will gain from it okay then reason for rise in demand for foreign exchange what are the reason first price of a foreign currency fall import from that country become cheaper means price of a foreign currency if dollar price decrease then we will import the good from usa then it will be cheaper for for us and we have to pay less rupees okay for example if us dollar is equal to 60 rupees and if price decline of us dollar then we will pay paying only 55 rupees means we are paying less rupees so we will gain okay so this is also the reason for rise in demand for foreign currency if there is less price then we will import more goods and we will import more goods then we will need more foreign currency when price of a foreign currency fall its demand rise as more people want to make gain from speculative activities as i already told you that speculative activities take place when people purchase uh, foreign currency when there is less price and sell when there is high price to gain the profit okay so this is the diagram of uh, foreign exchange market demand curve dd it is downward sloping as uh, there is negative relation between price rate of exchange and quantity demanded for foreign exchange on o axis we are sh showing demand on o y axis we are showing rate of exchange so when there is high price there is less demand and when there is less demand there is high price it shows the negative relation and our dd curve is downward sloping because of opposite relation between price and demand okay so next is sources of supply of foreign exchange the supply of foreign exchange come from the people who receive it due to the following reason means there is inflow of foreign exchange in demand we study the outflow of foreign exchange but in supply we uh, discuss that there is inflow of foreign exchange okay exports of goods and services supply of foreign exchange come through exports of goods and services tourism 
if people come in india from usa uk switzerland japan germany then they will convert their currency in our domestic currency so there will be supply of foreign currency in our country there is inflow of foreign exchange then unilateral transfer if we are receiving donation grant gifts from any another country then there is inflow of foreign exchange means there is supply of foreign exchange if we are taking loan from imf world bank then is there is also inflow foreign exchange okay so these are some sources of supply of foreign exchange then unilateral transfer means one sided payment then foreign investment the amount which foreigner invest means if there is fdi in our country like india then there is inflow of foreign exchange if foreigners are investing in our country then there is supply of foreign currency in our country then speculation speculation means those who want to speculate on the value of foreign exchange supply of foreign exchange means it will be then if people want to speculate on the value of foreign exchange means if there is high price of foreign exchange then the people who earlier store the foreign currency they will sell it in the international market and there will be supply of foreign exchange more supply then reason of rise in supply of foreign exchange what are the reason first when price of a foreign currency rise domestic could become cheaper means there is price of a foreign currency rise means the us dollar value increase it means our indian rupees depreciate depreciate means it value decrease now we will pay the more rupees to import something if we are purchasing some goods then we have to pay more rupees for example if 1 us dollar at present time is equal to 73 rupees and if foreign currency value increase there is increase in the rate of exchange then we will pay the 76 rupees means we are paying now more rupees okay then when price of a foreign currency rise there is more uh, foreign direct investment from rest of the world increase because uh, there is decrease in the value of domestic country when price of a foreign currency rise supply of foreign currency also rise as there is positive relation between price and supply of foreign currency so if there is increase in the price there will be more supply so this is the diagram of supply curve of foreign exchange at on o axis curve we have shown supply and on o y axis rate of exchange and s s is, is the supply curve so there is positive relation between supply and price there is increase in price then there is increase in supply also it is upward sloping because of positive relation between supply and price so this is our equilibrium of rate of exchange means um, determination we can say ss is the supply curve for an exchange dollar and dd is the demand for foreign exchange and supply and demand curve intersect each other at point e so e point is the equilibrium point and p o p is the price of rate of exchange we can say this is the price at which our domestic currency can be exchanged with the us dollar okay so this we have discussed the equilibrium of rate of exchange okay so students watch the video and also revise the chapter from your book if you have any doubt any query you are free to ask thank you